In this video, I'm going to talk about CoinManage UK. And the main purpose of this video is for people who have downloaded the CoinManage UK demo. If you have not, you can, I will leave a link in the description box uh, within this uh, YouTube video. So after you've downloaded and installed the CoinManage UK, you should arrive at this installation successful screen. Just click on finish. And in most cases, uh, you're not going to have to reboot your computer. So just click no there and you can get out of this um, uh, browser as well. So now we're at the uh, main desktop and after installing, you should have a CoinManage UK 2020 icon. So just double click on that to run the program. Now you get the uh, activation screen. Uh, to use the demo, you just keep clicking this continue using trial button. That's going to work for 30 days, at which point you can uh, decide to purchase the program or uninstall it or whatever. But even if the uh, demo expires, the, the um, data file will still always be there as long as you don't uninstall. So you can um, purchase the program after the demo expires. So let me click on continue using trial. And so the program has uh, started and what you see here is basically just a, a, a sample record that we just provide so the user can see what the program is going to look like after you've added at least one uh, item. Now, if you want, in most cases, obviously, unless you have this uh, particular variety in your collection, you're just going to delete it. So you just select it, and click on the delete button, uh, but I'm just going to leave it here. So uh, now how to use the program. To add coins to your inventory, um, you're going to click on the add coin button on the upper left here. And what you do now is you drill down and drill through the denomination. Let's say, for example, we have a farthing from George II. And uh, let's say we have the 1730 in very fine condition. You're going to select the particular variety, then the, then the condition. Once you select the condition, the value field gets filled in. If you have more than one, you can increase or decrease the quantity. You can add your cost here. Let's make it 15. Uh, when you're ready, just click OK. And as you can see here, the coin has been added. And right now I've got the, the actual type selected. So I'm only seeing that one coin. If I click on my collection, I'll see all the coins I've added to this particular collection. To edit a coin, you just double click on it and you can make changes as needed. Uh, one other tip regarding adding a coin is if you hold down the control key, so let's say I have the 1731 and the 1732, I can hold down the control key and pick the ones I actually have. So if I've got those two, I can click OK and it adds both of the coins. To run a report, if you want to just add one of the reports uh, that ships with the program, you just click on the reporting uh, menu and select one of the reports. So I'm going to select coin, or coins group by type. Now, once I output a report, I have many options. I can either print it directly to the printer. I can preview. I'll put, the Adobe, I'll put to Adobe PDF and many, many other formats, as you can see here. Let me just preview so you can see what it's going to look like when you print it out. Start. And there you go. That's what the actual report's going to look like if you want to print it out later. Uh, a lot of people now also got a table of contents if you want to jump to a particular section. So um, a lot of people now just like to print output to uh, Adobe PDF. And once you've done that, you can email it to people, customers, dealers, whatever. You know, this is just a short introduction. Uh, there's a lot of more, a lot more features to the program, but uh, this should hopefully get you, help you get started. So, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.